In the most recent update to the Xbox One, Microsoft has given the ability for its customers to upload screenshots and game clips from your favorite games directly embedded into Twitter. It's been a long requested feature and it's finally here. It's currently in the Insider program and testing on the Alpha Ring, which I'm a member of. And I wanted to quickly go over uh, how you link your Twitter account so you can actually start doing this as well as uh, the steps needed to take to actually upload the clips and screenshots to Twitter. What's going on, guys? Randall Thor 19 the man with the million, back again with another video. And uh, first off, you got to link your account. That's the very first step. So if you want to learn how to do that, all you got to do is hit the guide button, scroll over to system, go down to settings, and it'll be the very first one account and then right underneath here you'll see linked social accounts you can actually link your facebook account as well as your twitter of course i'm already linked so you would just go here and you would in input your passwords and all that stuff to link your twitter to your xbox live but you're here because you want to learn how to directly you know post your epic game clips and screenshots to twitter and when you do take screenshots and clips they end up here in the broadcast and capture section uh i didn't really want to load up a game and take a clip and uh a screenshot so i already did this prior to making the video but i'm going to show you how like where you can do all this stuff at so when you go to recent captures and you have all the all the you know screenshots and clips that you want you just pick this one so forza horizon 3 which i took two minutes ago it's in 4K. So I'm going to click on that and you'll have a bunch of options here. Share, upload to OneDrive, set as background, all this stuff. If you want to share this directly to Twitter, you click on the share button and you'll see activity feed message, club, Twitter, and OneDrive. So if you want to share right to Twitter, you'll, you'll see this share to Twitter and it'll give you your Twitter handle, which mine is at rand underscore al underscore thor underscore 19 follow me there if you want to and of course you can see the hashtags have been added already for hashtag four horizon three and hashtag xbox share so i'm going to say love this game and then we are going to send this out love this game enter share now now here's the thing when you actually record a clip and you actually record a screenshot it has to be uploaded to xbox live first you won't get the option to share it on twitter until you do that and then once it's uploaded you can then share it to twitter and unfortunately it takes a little bit of longer of a process than it does on PlayStation and Switch right now. Hopefully they kind of maybe shorten this a little bit. So here you do have to wait on the screen until it's shared. So there we go. It's shared on Twitter and I'll include a, you know, pic of what it looked like. Uh, probably I'll just insert it here so you can see what it looks like. Now, if you want to do the same for a clip, it's uh well, we're not going to broadcast. We're going to go to captures. Uh, I did take a little clip here. It's the same thing, but unfortunately, like I said before, you do have to upload the clip to Xbox Live and you have to wait. So as we're waiting for it to upload, let's talk. So how you guys doing? Are you enjoying the updates that Xbox has been giving to you guys? I know this uh, last one has added the 1440p resolution and uh, the mixer uh, share controller thing, which is pretty cool. Um, I, I actually like the ability to share, share, uh, screenshots and clips on Twitter. I'm going to do that more often. I do that quite a bit on the PlayStation and the switch because it's so easy to do. And I never really did it on the Xbox because, well, it just was a pain because it would bring you to a different website. It wasn't like embedded in, but now the option is there. Although it does take a little bit, uh, for it to actually, queue up and, and do all these things here so uh let's see is that one ready no now is prepared and now we actually have to wait for it to upload uh to twitter so i'm gonna you know skip ahead and wait for it to actually be finished all right now that the clip has been fully uploaded to xbox live i'm going to share it out on twitter i'm gonna think of a 
good tagline, which, you know what? Yeah, let's let's do this tagline. Uh, long live the king. Yeah, I think that's a good tagline for a tweet, considering Forza Horizon is now the king of racers. And I'm going to share out the clip on Twitter. Now, to reiterate everything that I've shown off in this video, first you need, need to link your Twitter account to Xbox Live. Uh, you can record clips uh, at 720p, 1080p, and 4K, and they will upload to Twitter. Although I think, I'm not sure if the quality of the clip determines how fast it uploads or if that has to do with your upload speed. The clips and screenshots have to be fully uploaded to Xbox Live before you are given the option to upload it to Twitter. And once you do start uploading to Twitter, you have to say on this uploading screen, otherwise it will cancel the upload. All right, here we are on my Twitter page to see the final result. Here you can see the screenshot I took during the video with the tagline, love this game, which I do, I adore Forza Horizon 3. And here is the clip I took and uploaded. Click that to hear the great music in Forza Horizon 3. So that is the process, guys, on how you can directly share not only your screenshots, but your game clips directly to Twitter. If you found this video helpful, make sure you hit that like button. Share this out on social media so more people can check it out. Hit the subscribe button if you're new and want to see more videos like this as I do a whole bunch of videos for the updates to Xbox. Hit the notification bell if you always want to be notified when I do drop more videos. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see everybody in the next video.